almost at the top. Whew. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wow. One, two, three, four. Chasing dreams and 17. Say goodbye to everything in my room. Hello! <laughs> hey, good morning, Ohio Gazimas. Good morning from the van. I just had an excellent night of sleep. I am wrapped up right now in my marmot zero degree sleeping bag. I am so warm and cozy, and I have the best view to wake up to. Check this out. Look at that! Freaking majestic! This is what I woke up to. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at, oh my God, what? Look at that mountain. What? What? Oh my God, like, come on, for real? For real, for real? That's insane. The sun rising over Convict Lake, just magical. Is this how I do intros to my vlogs? Do I usually say what I'm doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now, you guys. But what I do know is that we're in for a very sick day. We are going to do some straight up exploring around Mammoth. I'm hyped. The weather is beautiful. It's so nice out. I've got a ton of new gear to use. If you missed last week's video, I did a huge backcountry.com unboxing where I just got a ton of sick stuff, including this zero degree sleeping bag that is keeping me so warm. You can see the frost in my windows. It, it was like I don't know, like 17 degrees last night, but I feel great. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of my gear today and and just chuck out the majesty that is the Eastern Sierras. But first, I need to get out of bed, which is gonna be hard to convince myself to do because I'm so cozy right now. All right, I am up now. I'm about to make some morning oatmeal. While I make the oatmeal, I'll tell you guys the story of Convict Lake. It's actually pretty cool. Oh wait, actually it's not very cool. People died. But uh, in 1871, a group of convicts escaped from jail in I believe Carson, Nevada. And they made it all the way out here to this lake. And a group of locals kind of cornered them at the lake, tried to take them down. And there was a shootout, a big old old school Western shootout. And I think two of the local guys died, including one of them was a sheriff. I forget his name. I want to say it's Morrison. There's no service out here, so I can't look any of this up. Uh, so you're going to have to take my word for it. But uh, Sheriff Morrison was one of the ones that got killed. And they renamed that peak, or one of the peaks, Morrison Peak for him. They ended up catching two of the convicts. And they hung them, or however they used to kill people in the Old West. And then, uh, I don't know what happened to the other ones. But that's why it's called Convict Lake. <laughs> Heading down to the lake now. I got my breakfast with me. I've got the gray old purifier that I'm so excited to try out on this lake water. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna find one of these nice little benches and sit and have breakfast on. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. I'm about to sit and eat breakfast right here. It's insane. All right, time to finally test out this grail bottle. This part of the lake's kind of frozen. So I'm gonna head over there where it is more liquidy. Oh, this is gonna be so cool, this is so exciting. I've literally always dreamed of drinking straight from like a river or a lake. Fresh water, wow. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so hyped. This is like my new favorite thing. I'm so hyped on this. I forgot to tell you guys as well that if you use the code Janice15 on backcountry.com, you will get 15% off of uh, any like full priced item for, I guess, first time backcountry users. But uh, yeah, I just want to share my code with you guys too. Yeah, my hands are getting cold because it's uh, still only like 20 degrees out. 
So I'm gonna head back to my van, head over to Mammoth and do some snowboarding. All right guys, I am now up at Mammoth Mountain and I am just putting together my backpack with stuff. I am meeting up with my friend Denise and I think we're gonna have like a whole crew of people with us for a little split boarding mission. We're going up to some like vista point that I've never been to before. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm just packing up what I need. I'm definitely bringing my grail water bottle with all my fresh lake water in it. Bring my pole for my camera. I've got some sunscreen in here. I am not gonna need the Avi kit that I just got because this whole split board mission is all like within resort boundaries. So it's all a ski patrol uh, checked and everything, I guess. Oh, snacks. I got some granola. Always gotta have the granola in there. It might be all I need. It's supposed to be a pretty short trip. They said it's gonna be like 20 minutes or so, I think. <laughs> just gotta go pick up a split board for the mountain. Yay! All right, get in the split board set up. I'm so excited, I've never split boarded before. All right, my friend Denise made it up to the mountain. Look at her, she's so fabulous. Oh gosh. <laughs> she's setting up, um, I don't, what are they even called? Trekking skis? Tellies? Not tellies. tellies. They're not tellies. I don't know what they're called. They're, they're split board skis. They're skidding skis. <laughs> All right, just rode down below chair 12. And now it's time to turn the snowboard into a split board. So I'm gonna try to figure this out. Hopefully I do it right. I've never done this. <laughs> minutes now and it is so hot oh I think we're almost there there's still farther to go Ooh, this is definitely a workout oh I'm sweating up a storm oh my god that's amazing wow oh I've never been up here I was a mammoth off and on for like a number of years I've never been to this spot view of my very favorite mountain range up there, the minarets. Oh man, this is amazing. <laughs> Alright, here we go, heading back downhill. You guys, 
I did it. I found it. We made it to the hot springs parking lot and we didn't even get lost once. There's my friend Kate. Yay! <laughs> you never been to the hot spring, huh? I'm so pumped. I'm just trying to find um, bikini bottoms. Right now, I'm currently not wearing anything. Well, the thing is that a lot of hippies just use these hot springs naked, so... Is that true? Yeah. There's always, like, naked old men in the hot springs. Oh, okay. God, I can't wait. That's what I was hoping to <laughs> <laughs> So I was really excited in the car how I got us here without getting lost. Yeah, First really try. Yeah, however, how you? I'm not sure if this is the right walkway to the hot spring. I have a feeling this isn't the way. I think we're gonna have to turn back. <sighs> All right, we found someone going to the other hot springs and asked them. Turns out we were at the wrong one. The thing is that I knew that I had to drive down a dirt road to get to the hot springs I'm trying to get to. Well, it turns out that this dirt road is just closed in the winter, which is a new thing because I've driven down this dirt road in the winter before. That was the confusion. But we still got some sunshine left. And we got our snacks, yeah. we got our drinks. And we gonna get soaked. 20 minutes later. All right, so the walk down the dirt road is turned out longer than I expected. I honestly don't remember how long the drive is, but I feel like the drive down this road is kind of long. We're gonna be fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> 11 minutes late. We finally made it. This is the start of the walking path. We just made it to the end of the road that you normally drive on. And the road. We've been walking for 30 minutes. Visiting this hot spring in the winter, I'm gonna rate this a zero out of 10 because this walk is insane. Wait, but look at the reflection on that water. Like, yeah, it's badass, dude. Honestly, it's beautiful. Like, a lot of work, but it's worth it. I'm just complaining because I didn't realize it was such a far walk. Look, we're in nature. This is amazing. We're doing this. All right. Around the final bend. Dude, we're gonna have it all to ourselves because it took us an hour to walk here. Honestly, this is really cool. Look at that. What's that? Is that a night you can put a fire in there? Like an oven, Dutch oven. Make a pizza. You know what a Dutch oven is, right? Uh oh, is it bad? It's when you're under the covers and someone pulls the covers <laughs> over your head to seal it and then farts. It's also it's also an actual oven that Dutch people use. Uh, <laughs> That's as deep as it can. <laughs> <laughs> what are you screaming about? It's cold. Oh, what do you mean? Water. This is warm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there oh, you go. Oh. <laughs> are you okay, Kate? Are you living now? <laughs> I'm living my best life. All right, we are moving to the other hot spring out here that is a little bit warmer. Okay. Run, run, oh, run. <laughs> All right, we made it to the other little hot spring and we have set up our dinner buffet. Starting with some orange cuties. Then we've got our hummus and vegetables. We've got our chicken and we've got our uh, gluten-free crackers with brie cheese and a fruit salad. So yeah, we've got our whole little dinner buffet. We're gonna have a, uh, a sunset dinner. Look at that beautiful sunset, oh my God. The key is a little bit of chicken, uh -huh. and then you do a broccoli with hummus, and you do the chicken with the broccoli and hummus. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining along in my little mammoth adventure today. Uh, I had so much fun hanging out with Denise and Kate 
and this was a freaking epic day out in the mountains. It's easy to sit at home and like be comfortable and watch Netflix. Like I'm so guilty of that. But when you force yourself to just get a little bit uncomfortable and get a little bit out of your comfort zone, you can like have an amazing adventure like today. Yes. So thanks Kay for being part thanks of this. Thanks for having me. Um, thank you Backcountry for hooking me up with some gear to make this adventure happen. And I hope you guys go out and find your adventure. <laughs> All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Life isn't perfect. It's messy and unexpected, but it's wonderful. You can find love, magic, and beauty all around you if you chase after it. So find what lights your soul up and go out and carpe your happy.